So using what we have learnt, let's try and take a look at this code. For step one, we first take the date string, split it by slash and capture that object with the variable date itself. Then we take date of zero and convert that to an int, similarly date one and date two. Would this work? Well, we've just tried out a bunch of examples. I hope you actually use the code check link to try out what the expected behavior was on all these examples. And we will see that for the two examples that the client originally gave us, this piece of code does perfectly well in both these cases. Because in both these cases, it's able to use the slash to correctly split the string. And then we can convert that sub substring into an int. It's very important to always check this, not just to assume that it's going to work. For example, before I was creating this lecture, I had a misunderstanding. I thought that if we try to convert the substring 0 to into an int, that would actually cause an error. Now, the reason I thought that was, I know that for ints, 0 to is an illegal literal value. You cannot, for example, say x is equal to the int 0 2. But the string 0 2 can be converted safely into the integer 2. I didn't know that. And it's only once I tried it out that I realized the misunderstanding that I had. In both these cases, however, this code doesn't do what we want. In this first case, what happens when we try and do the split operation? Well, there are no forward slashes in this string. So if we were to just try an experiment in the REPL where we've set date to this, when we split it by forward slash, this just produces the singleton list, a list containing only one item, which is the original string. This is the meaning of splitting when you cannot find the item that you are splitting by. Now, when we try and take this list and calculate its zeroth item, well, that is this string. When we try and convert this string into an integer, it doesn't work. You might have thought it should work. Well, shouldn't it just produce 1 minus 3 minus 25? Isn't that an integer? Well, even if it was, that would certainly not be the intended value, but actually this doesn't work. Once again, you should try this out and observe the error that you get. Similarly, this example doesn't work either. In this case, when we try and split by slash, we get three values, the substring A, the substring B, and the substring C. But when we try and convert the substring A into an integer, that is an error. Once again, it'll tell us, I don't know how to convert A into an integer at least in base 10. You should try this in other bases, like for example, base 16, hexadecimal, and there A can be converted into an integer, but not in this case.